All right, guys, we are getting out here and fishing right between storms, tornadoes to be exact. We've got a, a nice little window here, opportunity. We're gonna see again, testing out that storm slash uh, barometric pressure issue. So we're gonna be fishing piles. Uh, it is actually beautiful right now. It's kind of funny, but if you look behind me, you can see what just passed. Well, we've got another round of that coming. We actually had some storm damage kind of near where I, I live. Check this out. I don't know. I think that's going to make a really good crappie pile. A real good crappie pile. No one's hurt, so it's a part of living in southern Illinois. But anyway, today what we're going to be doing, pile fishing, baby. Check out that hammer 10. That thing is popping now. For those that don't know, that's the number one 10 footer out. Crazy good, crazy sensitive. And I'm going to show you that here in this small window that we have to fish. It looks beautiful. But the storms are coming and we got the hammer 10 that's going to get it done so you can check those out at three poundfishing.com i'm using the comet sniping braid for super sensitivity so check that out as well i think the combo of those two are awesome but the hammer 10 check it out it's back it sold out very quickly and we've got it back we've got it back for a limited time um until it sells out again then we'll have to wait again but either way let's put some slabs in the boat guys Now, I do want to give a shout out to Harrison's Sports Shop here in Southern Illinois. They fixed my trolling motor. As you can see, I have now have a red cable there, and that's because the one that came actually broke. Apparently, that's a, that's a thing. Um, use your boat too much, and you can actually break that cable. And so I went out and got a new one, and they were nice enough to install it very quickly. So check out Harrison's in Southern Illinois, guys. We're coming up on our first pile. Let's do this. All right, great looking pile right here, guys. Definitely some good sized fish. Now who knows how these fish are gonna react. We've got about eight inches of rain. Um, so who knows, we're gonna see. But, yeah, we got some takers right there. He's pretty aggressive. Oh yeah, he's gonna hit it. Boom, there's our first fish, guys. First drop, gonna be a solid fish too. Look at this guy, this is an absolute pig. Storm, be normy. That is a storm fish, that is a slab. That is a slab. First cast, hammer 10, guys. Seriously. You gotta try it out. It's worth it. Bam, we're gonna let him go. Big fish. We're gonna start off with a good old fish. And we're gonna go right back at it. No, no hesitation. Accurate casts are everything. I mean, I always I emphasize it. If it's not a good cast, pull it out of there. Don't waste your time. No sense in it. Um, move like the fish are moving look at this guy he's slow so i'm being slow boom and there he is hammer 10 gets you feel another freaking great fish well i don't know we might have to stay out here a little longer than i thought we were going to great fish guys this is a solid eater all day all day long solid eater great fish black crappie right there if you don't know the difference white crappie have those vertical lines this is kind of a sporadic speckle Beautiful fish though. Tend to be more of an aggressive fish, but definitely a, more, a pickier fish for sure. Not as easy as to catch compared to a white crappie. But let's also go through some things that we're using nowadays, okay? The king's tail. If I'm casting all day long on the shoreline, king's tail is awesome. Graphics are awesome. Beautiful eight foot rod, mid seat, super light, getting great reviews. You guys should check that out. I told you I'd go through my setup in terms of the leader. I use a number seven split shot, guys, and um, it supplements the, obviously getting it down to the fish, but at the same time, it allows me to see it that much easier. Kind of matches a 132nd in terms of weight, um, so there's not many tangles. It's the perfect ratio, in my opinion, of getting it down there without having to worry about that. So that's the setup. Let's put some more fish in the boat. What, a, what, a, unbelievable, tornadoes? I don't like those. I gotta, I gotta admit, I don't like tornadoes. But if I can get out here and fish for about an hour between them, I'm okay with that. There we go.
man what a great day another solid fish guys another absolute solid fish right there man let them go these winds are starting to uh, pick up so we're going to move to a different pile just to get out of the wind we still got more slabs going in the boat but one of the questions i really want to touch on is i get i get this asked all the time what are my settings on the garmin live scope and so i'm going to answer that question it's really simple i go back to default settings on my unit on the whenever i feel like it, it doesn't matter um, i rarely touch the gain or anything like that um, it stays roughly around 6970 but once it establishes what that number it is off of the defaults i don't adjust it from there on out i really never touch it so if you're looking to get a clear screen like mine is I highly recommend just going back to your default settings and go from there. Now, I do use a high noise reject. I also put my TVG on low. And then again, whatever the gain comes up on that default setting, on my unit, it tends to come up at 69, 68, and that number range. I set it there and I never touch it again. That's my settings. Pretty simple, pretty amazing, really. Uh, and it works every time. And I'm not worried about doing it. Um, I do it, I've done it just to show people but try it out it'll work a couple singles out here guys we're gonna try them out I get them come boom little guy Oh, the smaller ones on this pile. I think we're going to be leaving this one. Fun, but small. Just changed to the king's tail. Eight foot, this thing is incredible. Really allows you to spend the day casting and not have to worry about fatigue whatsoever. Just got a guy on it right here. Look at him come. This is a single. What a fish. All right there, guys. King's tail. Check it out. Didn't take long, right? I mean, that's amazing right now. We have very few casts in. We've got plenty of fish in the boat. Good sized fish, too. Solid fish. All right, guys. Well, that's going to end it. Great, quick little trip, man. It does not get much better than that. Got to prep. There's storms coming. And Mama wants me home. So you guys have a great, safe springtime. And check out that hammer tin, the king's tail. The rods are killing it, and they're just awesome. You guys are going to love them. So uh, check them out, 3poundfishing.com. Take it easy, guys.